Hello, this presentation will show you how to solve issues in PoseMaster when, for instance, the hand does not follow properly uh, the helper. It can occasionally happen and it is very fast and very easy to solve this. And that's what this video is going to show you. Okay, the first situation that you can meet, I launched the script. Sorry. The first situation that you can meet is that the arm is too short. So for instance, here, I'm going to place this down and indeed the hand cannot be on the helper. That, that's very easy. Um, I'm going to try to find other situations which are less obvious. Another situation I'm going to try to replicate this is I'm going to move this to the left. So in order to align uh, the arm vertically with the shoulder. Okay, a little bit more to the front now, that's fine. And I'm going to move this up. Oh, it, it, it managed to do it. In the, in the back of the figure, maybe it will be uh, easier to find a situation where the, the hand does not follow properly. So let's push it back. Okay. Uh, it follows. Uh, bad luck. Um, okay. In this situation, you know, the 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 arm is lost because uh, first the, the it <coughs> this this position cannot be reached. It's probably too far from the the back of the figure. And what you can do to solve this, if you bring backwards and if you bring to the if we bring it to the left, uh, let's have a look here. The arm should be able. The arm should be able to reach this location, but you start from um, from parameters which are so far away uh, from what you can uh, from what you have to reach as the parameters that the the script does not manage to find the solution. So here is what you can do. What you can do here is try to <coughs> adjust the surrounding bounds. Okay, okay, well, that's done. Uh, so that um, they they come back to values which are compatible with the solution. Okay, here I got it uh, the first time. Uh, I'm gonna undo this last action. Uh, I mean, I undo. Okay, I was in this situation. Here, I, I want the helpers not to be placed on the ends, okay? For, for instance, if I do front back collar, I don't have the solution, you see? Yeah, I'm stuck. If I do bend collar, it doesn't find the solution, okay? It tries to do something, but it doesn't. Have, the, the issue is often in the, the big values, okay? And in the twist, uh, in, in, the, in the twist here, we are going to find the solution. So we are going to push the twist because the the shoulder must be twisted a lot in this direction uh, so that the hand could reach the helper okay so you have to to move all this okay uh, to to give in order to give to the script new starting conditions okay so i just here i just reset the issue okay and uh offline i, I did it offline and I'm going to try to show you other ways to uh, to do this. So one thing you can do is to take a screen capture to remember the location. So I place it somewhere else on my, on my other screen and to move the helper until we find uh, we find a, a place where the helper is still is coming back to the hand is coming back to the helper. So here I move the helper and I realize that it's still not uh, not right. So I play a little bit with the jazz, okay. And we see that we don't manage except if we except when we change the twist shoulder. We don't manage to to put the hand on the helper here by twisting the shoulder. We manage to put it back. Okay, so I bring back my capture, and I bring the helper at its initial left right location, which was fourteen. 
Ok. Point. 33. Ok. And that's, that's another way uh, to, to solve this. I mean, move the helper uh, where it's easier to locations that, for which it's easier for the script to find the solution. And then uh, then adjust the surrounding value if it's not on the if the hand is still not on the helper, and uh, well, well, it gives you a better a better overview. So you see here, if I twist the shoulder back, I can find the solution. If I twist the shoulder in the right orientation, I find the solution. What you do is to have to find which um, <coughs> which of the gel uh, allow, um, prevents. And the solution to be found, and it's often twist. It can be bends or two. Uh, I mean, it could be any of them, but in general, twist is very important. It's also the case for the legs. Let's have a look at an another uh, another situation now. Here I loaded uh, another example where I managed to have the. The head not following the helper anymore, but this time on the front of the figure. All right, and uh, what we are going to do here um, is, for instance, test the adjust uh, the adjustment solutions. Okay, and the issue obviously was still in the twist shoulder. You see, once again, uh, it's often the. <laughs> It's often the, the guilty, the guilty dial. Let's call it the guilty dial. Okay, up. Let's undo this, and uh, let's re-execute the script now. Uh, don't touch helpers. Okay, I could place it back on the hand, but that's not that's not what I want. Uh, no, I'm gonna change the bent shoulder. All right. It seems to be locked, but anyway, when I move it, I I manage to force the twitch shoulder to be recalculated. And, and this uh, allows me to place the hand back on the helper. Okay, so the twist is often the guilty uh, dial, but you can manage to, to solve it without touching the twist. And now when it's done, I mean, that's fine, that's okay. The, um, you, the script behaves totally normally, okay? That, the, that's what I wanted to show. Um, I'm going to show you another solution still on this example. So, oh, oh yeah, uh, undo, yeah, undo completely because I want uh, the helper to be back in place. Okay. Don't touch. Uh, okay. I'm going to push, I'm going to remember this left right location. I'm going to push the hand far away on this di in this direction and slowly back you know i push it pushed it very far away on the left of the figure it works it works well f when you, the arms are in front of the figure okay uh, when it's in the back it's more difficult uh, far away in the, then i bring it slowly back to its initial location okay and now I passed my previous value, okay, and that's fine. That's another way to solve this. Let's undo. Here we are still after a reset, okay. And uh, another solution is to go in the general options and make zero right arm and then fingers, okay. That's sad if you if you placed your fingers already, and then in the choose action. Select um, move hand to helper, and uh, you can solve it uh, very often this way. We can have a look if it solves the issue in the previous example that we had too. So let's undo this one. Okay, load uh, the previous scene. So back to our previous scene, let's make our shoulder issue back. Okay, the issue is back. Now in the general options, we are going to zero the right arm. 
OK. And we are going to choose the action, move hand to helper, and that's down. That's not nice, but we know that we can adjust this. OK. Uh, let's twist the shoulder more. OK, that's more clean. OK, that's, uh, that's another way, the reset way. Uh, still another solution. Let's bring the issue back. Oh, the issue is back. That's re pretty easy now. Um, another solution. If you don't want to lose the the fingers and the hand um, uh, rotations, what you can do is disconnect helper and set all the bonds to zero. It will actually make a reset only on the okay only on the collar shoulder and forearm and then you make reconnect and then you choose move hand to helper and the same way it solves the issue okay that's uh, that's another solution that you can use the, as, as you see each solution is not really long this 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 presentation is long because I present a lot of solutions uh, what else Okay, back in uh, in my other example, what can be done and which works pretty often, but not not always, is to totally bend the forearm, okay, and adjust one of the gels, and it then works. It, it works well in uh, in the front of the figure, and it works. Um, it it depends also on the twist value, but. It, it can work, it can work. And I think that's approximately all for the solutions we, you have when, when the hands uh, does not follow correctly. So the first one is in general to play uh, with, uh, with the dials. Oh, bad, bad luck, it's in the pants. Uh, let's push a little bit on the left. Okay, so here the dial is too low. Let's push it up. Okay, it connects immediately. Okay, no, that's uh, anyway. That's not a, what what I wanted to to show. Um, thank you for watching this. I hope uh, that it will solve uh, all the issues you may you may have, uh, which r really don't often happen. Okay, it happens from time to time, but each time you know you just tweak tweak the various dials, and in general. Uh, it's you don't take care about these issues anymore because they are erased in the blink of an eye you know <clears throat> but if you still have issue feel free to contact me uh, directly on das forums thank you and have a nice day